Good morning. Hey, birthday boy. I'm sorry, man. Can you hear me? <laughs> so you're laughing, which means you can hear me. You can hear me? I don't want to call your name because in case you got priors. Okay, cool. Oh. My husband's favorite sorority sister of mine. How are you? Oh my goodness. Another one of my faves I haven't talked to in a while. Oh. <laughs> There's some blast from my past showing up. Good morning, everybody. How are you? I'm hoping that you can see my tan. Do you see my tan? Don't say anything smart. I want you as if I am your child. You're supposed to say, yes, yeah, sweetheart, I see your melanin popping. I need you to show me that. Hey. I, I, I'm not going to say your name because, as I said to another friend of mine who just joined, uh, you know, you may have priors. I, I want people to find you in case you're on the lam. Ah. Uh, What's up, Kat? How are you? Belated birthday to you, too. I'm not going to say your government name. I'm not going to say your government name. I'm just going to... Wait, am I even allowed? Love you, too. Hey, I'm thinking about uh, my husband's favorite sorority sister of mine. I'm thinking about coming to the MV, so we should talk next year he, he doesn't know but he doesn't understand he doesn't know what the hype is about so we have to connect soon ah the lady with the pretty smile hello good morning i'm glad you joined i miss you in our meetings all right so i have a couple of you joining good morning happy monday all right so i have you can obviously hear me last week was quite the challenge. I told y'all I'm not the techie one in the group. Um, so I have a lot to talk about today. Uh, first, let me just start with the basic stuff. I, I, I almost fought a kid. Yep, I did. Yeah, I, I almost, yep, sure did. Almost fought an eight-year-old. Not one of my children, which is probably <laughs> the worst part. Yeah, I almost beat up somebody else's child. I did, and I feel pretty good with my choices. I know that I'm a grown up and I'm middle aged, but I, I feel pretty good that I was I was going to take his larynx out. I was. I... <laughs> so here's here's my issue for over the weekend. Everyone knows I have three children, right? I have big son who's a sophomore in high school. I have uh, the daughter who will be in the seventh grade, and then I have the baby who is uh, an upcoming rising third grader, okay? All of those of you who are parents, you know that each child is different, right? They're all different. Even though you're raising them the same, they all have different needs, okay? The baby, by far, by far, is the most even-keeled, easygoing, non-temperamental child. He is literally slick Rick, Lottie Dottie, he don't cause trouble. He don't bother nobody. He just likes to go to camp, eat his little Cheez-Its, play some basketball in the gym. He, he, he doesn't cause any problems whatsoever. None. Zilch. None. So for the last couple of weeks, uh, the baby has come home. Now, he loves this camp. We have been going to this camp. And just to put it in um, perspective, we have been going to this camp for a decade, literally. My children started going. It, it actually is a, um, 
daycare, preschool, and in the summer they have camp. And they're pretty reasonable. Um, it's in the city, so it's got some hood tendencies, but you know, I'm from the city, so I, my husband and I feel like, you know, sometimes you gotta get, you gotta get some, hood, some hood tendencies, right? You, you gotta learn how to be able to handle yourself. Last few weeks, the baby says he didn't want to go back to the camp. He begged to go to this camp. He begs every year. So my antennas go up, uh, what's the matter? Why don't you want to go to this camp? He says, because there's too much, they play too much. I'm getting my stopwatch together. Okay, now he's also one of those kids, he has very few friends, he's very selective. He's like, yeah, they do too much. Okay, that was interesting. All right. So what you mean by that? Another week goes by. He says, I don't want to go. Okay, what's wrong? Why don't you want to go? He says, there's this little boy, we'll call him Jimmy. Jimmy has been bothering him. Bothering you how? Now, those of you who've known me for a very long time, I, I was bullied as a child, right? So I'm real hypersensitive about bullying so much so that I've taken it into my adult life. Like you can't, mm -mm. no, you can't do it. So I give him the mother look like, okay, what's wrong? Timmy's doing too much. Oh, okay. So I always ask the children, little Jimmy's too and doing too much. I always ask, what would you like us to do as your parents? Because I want them to be included in the solution making process, right? What would you like me to do? Do you want me to contact the teacher? Do you want me to contact the person in charge of the camp? Do you want me to schedule a meeting with the parents? Do you want me just to let it go and you handle it? Just tell me what you want me to do, right? So he says, at first he says, um, no, I want to handle it by myself. Okay. How do you think you're going to handle it? So he says what he wants to do. I'm going to, you know, talk to him, tell him stop, you know, whatever. If that doesn't work, I'm going to tell the teacher. Okay. And if that doesn't work, what are you going to do? Um, I don't know, you know, cause he's thinking telling the teacher will be enough. I said, okay, well look in our household in a good, in a tribe called Goodman, you have the right to defend yourself. You always have the right. You'll never get in trouble for defending yourself. Right. They say that there's zero tolerance of bullying, blah, 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 whatever. You will never get in trouble. So, you know, you don't have to start it, but you better finish it. So you push him really, really hard till he hits the ground and you yell stop so that everybody can hear. And so if, all, if your phases do not work, then just go ahead and do that. Just, you know, violence doesn't get violence, but if you push him one good time, he's got to hit the ground though. You can't just kind of push him and he just kind of stumbles. No, you got to push him. He's got to hit the ground and you got to yell, stop. Got to get everybody's attention. Oh boy's on the ground, all is well. That should do the trick, right? He was like, okay. So I defy him anyway. I usurp, I go to the person in charge because, you know, I've been here a little while. I got, you know, I got some longevity. Okay, listen, the baby's talking about that he is having, he doesn't want to be here. That's not like him. There's some little boy named Jimmy. This is what I told him. The person in charge was like, okay, that's fine. You know, we get it. I know exactly who you're talking about. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. Last week, last Friday, it might have been, Thursday, whatever day it was, I go to pick up my children. So the baby and the daughter go to this camp. I get there, I, you can see above where the kids are playing in the gym. The gym is actually on the, on the basement floor. So you can look down, thick glass, you can see. The baby is in the corner crying. So I say, what's wrong with my kid, right? So I'm trying not to be, I'm trying to be cool, I'm trying to be cool. So I go down the stairs, I'm not running, I'm not just, you know, I'm a mother, so I'm gonna go down. So the woman in charge picks up the walkie talkie and was like, hey, can you figure out what's going on with the baby? Mom's on his way down. Like that should be enough for you when somebody says the mama's coming. Go down the stairs, the adult, adult, comes over with the crying baby and I say, what's wrong with my son? She says, I don't know. 
What you mean you don't know? He's in the corner crying. What, what you mean? So I say, so now the baby's hysterical, which he never is. I told you, he don't cause trouble. He don't bother nobody. What's the matter? Timmy hit me. Okay. Did you hit him back? Get see, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to be Carol Brady. I'm so not. <laughs> Did you hit him back? All right, what? Did you hit him back? Right? He said, yes. I said, okay, what happened? He said, so he hit me back. I hit him back. I pinched him. Cool. You know, fight a little dirty. I'm good with that. Pinched him or whatever. And the boy, you know, did something else. So it feels like the baby took an L, right? I'm okay with that as long as you're not a punk. If he took the L, cool. I, you know, whatever. But then I say, because I want to know when all of this happened, the adult couldn't tell me. What you mean you couldn't tell me? So then I say, well, where's, where's little Jimmy? She says, I don't know who that is. Hell, you mean you don't know who it is? Don't you work here? So I have a moment. Because <laughs> I actually said that. I actually said, what you, what you mean you don't know who he is? You, you don't work here? You, you got a t-shirt on that says that you work here. You, you don't work here? Right? Okay. You obviously can't help me. So, you know, I say to the kids, which one? And I'm trying to be cool, but I'm kind of like this. <laughs> Which one is is Jimmy? Which one is he? That's that's what I do. <laughs> I think I'm about to fight an eight year old. <laughs> Which one? So you know, little kids will snitch all day long. You know, they all do this. <laughs> He's right there. Okay. Then I realize that I'm not eight <laughs> and I'm a grown up. So I said, okay, come on, little Jimmy. Let's go upstairs and talk to the person in charge. Come on. Come on, sweetheart. So, I, you know, I remember that he's somebody else's child. He's not my child. Come on, sweetheart. Bring him upstairs with the baby. Go upstairs to the people in charge. Sit down. Close the door. Okay. Tell me what happened. Little Jimmy says that the baby hit him first. So doesn't happen. <laughs> so I knew he was lying. I knew. Like, I knew. <laughs> Why are you lying on my son? I, I didn't do that. That's what I was thinking. I didn't say anything. You all would have been very proud. I turned into Carol Brady. Okay. So, of course, the babies in the background going, I ain't do nothing. Dang. You hit me first. Dang. Because that's him swearing. <laughs> so I said, let him talk. Let him talk. Little Jimmy says that the baby hit him first. And that he hit him back. And it ensued. Okay. So I say to the baby, what happened? He said, we were playing tag. He pushed me. I pushed him back. I told him to stop. He pushed me. It ensued, blah, blah, blah. I said, okay. I said, little Jimmy, it's obvious that you two don't get along. So you don't look at, don't talk to, don't touch the baby. Baby, you don't look at, you don't talk, you don't touch little Jimmy. Stay in this, you know, your separate corners. Fix it. You all don't have to, you're in this, there's a real, 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 real big gym. You don't have to play with each other, all right? There are other people you can play with, all right? Everybody good? Yeah, we're good, okay. Little Jimmy leaves, I said, because, then before he leaves, I said, because if we have to have this conversation again, I'm gonna bring your parents in. And we're gonna have a talk about everybody keeping their hands to themselves, okay? He's like, okay, okay. Baby, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay, okay. So he, I said, wait for me, because I'm picking him up, send little Jimmy back downstairs, Close the door, go in, go ham on the peoples, on the adults. I was like, okay. First of all, we've been coming here for a decade. I will take the money that I paid this summer and take it elsewhere, number one. Number two, when I ask an adult who's supposed to be in charge of everybody, what's happening with my son and she can't answer me, that's a problem for you. It's not going to be a problem for me because I promise you I'll, I'll, I'll blow up this whole place. I, I will. <laughs> Just, I'll, I'll turn this whole place upside down. I, I will. Please, please don't let me show you that side. Just don't fix this before I do. Okay? Okay. I'm smiling. Please fix this before I do. Okay. So they, of course, say, oh, no, we know who this child is. 
He's been an issue. It's not just with the baby. He's been with other kids. Okay, I'm going to need y'all to fix that. Fix it but, b- before I do because I'm, I'm going to fix it. I, I, I will fix it for real. I, I will. Mm-hmm. I will. So little boy gets suspended from camp. It's kind of like getting fired on your day off. How, how you get suspended from summer camp? Whatever. Not my problem. Talk to the baby. Hey, listen. Feels like you got you caught an L. Okay. Happens. Um, I'm going to help, you know, he's got an older brother, right? So I incorporate the tribe, right? This, this, is, your, this is your little brother. So, of course, big brother comes in, right, because I pick him up. Tell him what happened. I said, look, I'm going to need you to teach your little brother how to defend himself. Sometimes, you, and told the baby, sometimes you're going to catch an L. Sometimes it happens. But you don't let anybody disrespect you. You don't let anybody, you're eight, right? I get that you don't want to cause any trouble, but you don't want to be a victim. You don't want to be prey, okay? So is there something that I can do? Do you want to go to karate? Do you want to learn how to box? Tell me what you want. And he said, no, I just I just thought I was supposed to hit him like once. <laughs> I'm raising suburban kids in the hood. I'm, I, I am. I'm, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> So I, of course, laugh and say, well, no, that's not kind of how fighting works. Like fighting works where you, you somebody has to break y'all up, right? Somebody has to break y'all up. Big son was like, listen, Caleb, next time somebody's got to pull you off of them. Like you don't stop until somebody stops you. He said, but don't worry. We're going to go down in the basement. We're going to spar a little bit. You, you know, I'm going to show you how to do things. So here's the thing about... Okay, so I told you that the baby does not cause trouble. He does not bother nobody. He doesn't. Now the other two, <laughs> if, if she had said the daughter had hit first or big son had hit first, I could see that. I, I could see that happening, right? I, there, would be no, there would be a little bit of hesitation like, okay, for real, who started it? Because they, I think because they're shorter, they both kind of have Napoleon complexes, kind of. So I think for them, it's a little different. So as an example, Big Son is quick with the what? He's quick with that. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> for, for my unblack, unbrown friends. The, the what, as we call it, the what? If there's no T on the end of that. The what? That's really what it is. That is not a question of please repeat yourself. No. It's more of a, I dare you to say it again so I can punch you in the throat. That's, that's, it's a warning shot. You know, boom, boom. It's, it's a warning shot. That's really what the, the what is. And he gets it honestly because his mother does that. I, do, I, do, I don't do the what because I'm too old. I'm middle aged. I don't do that. I, I do... Um, do a little, um, I, I beg your pardon. I, I do that when you're older, when you're mature. You don't, you don't do the what? You don't do that. You do the I, I beg your pardon. Excuse me. And then it's followed by, hmm. I think I might be confused, or I think you're confused. And then it goes on from there. But Big Son is good for the what? Like any minute he's gonna pull the Kevin Hart and do all of this. <laughs> He gets it honestly. He does. He does. The daughter is more of, she don't say nothing. She just hits you. <laughs> she just she just snatches and gets in your face. She's, she's a bit more temperamental. She, she doesn't have a warning shot. She just kind of goes. Okay? So for those two, because they're small for their age, they got to be a little Napoleon. I can understand if, if the teacher had said there was a situation. I'm the one that goes, oh, Lord, what what happened? What you do? But the baby, he's not that kid. And I forgot that I was middle-aged. I, I thought I was eight. I thought I was eight. Yeah. So Jesus prevailed. <laughs> he, he, he prevailed. He prevailed. I, I did not 
hit, hit little Jimmy. I did not spank little Jimmy. I did not tell him to tell his parents to meet me after school. I didn't, I didn't do any of that. I was gonna, I didn't, I didn't. So um, let's thank baby Jesus in the manger for um, grab a hold of your girl so that I didn't catch a case. <laughs> let's just praise God for that. Praise, praise him, okay? Hallelujah, let's praise him. Okay, so um, what, what's the lesson in this? Lesson, I don't know. <laughs> Pray. That there you go. That that's the lesson. Pray, pray, <laughs> pray that you have some sort of conviction to be an adult, to act adult-ish, to to adult, to adult. Because I thank God for that moment and those few seconds. Because I I was I was gonna fight a kid. I, I was. Mm -hmm. So. Ah, there's my rant for today. <laughs> um, let's see, what else do I want to tell you? Oh, a couple of things. So some of us, our children are, so my babies, uh, the daughter and the, um, and the baby start school this week. So I'm actually very, very excited for them. Very excited for me, actually. Yeah, I'm very, very excited for, for me, for me. Um, so they start school. All the supplies, school supplies have been bought, but apparently I missed one purple folder. One, I got everything else. There are a million things on that supply list and I'm missing a purple folder that I have to go buy before I drop the school supplies off. Uh, one purple folder. Yeah, okay. So I have to do that, um, but I'm happy that they're going to school. Praise the Lord for that. And um, also I'll ask that you all say a prayer for one another. Um, this has been a rough weekend for some of my friends, um, I've had two, um, a relative and a good friend of mine who both lost their husbands rather suddenly. So I'll ask, you don't know them by name, but I ask that you say a, a quick prayer for them as, um, you know, some of us are going through things. It is the circle of life. So please, um, God says that if there are two or more, um, that he will be there. Right. But, you know, that's not the right verse. I'm not being Jesus filled today. I actually know it, but some of y'all are not Jesus filled. So I'm trying to bring you in. OK. OK. So two or more gather in his name, et cetera. So please um, pray for one another. Pray for my friends and my family. Um, pray for them as I pray for you. OK, um, for those parents whose children are going to school, some of you, you are packing your children away to college for the first time. Congratulations. Uh, some of y'all are sad. I, I don't know why, because I'm already packing my kids to go. Um, I, I don't know why you're sad. <laughs> Maybe when I get there, I'll feel the same way. But right now, I'm like, what you crying for? <laughs> so happy congratulations to those entering college for the first time. Uh, those whose children are going to school um, in the next, oh, that have gone to school over the last week or so, or on their headed to school, congratulations to you. The husband and I are going to take a day off and maybe do something nice. Um, maybe I'll get back and get some melanin in my body. Shut up to those of you who don't see it. I see it. So don't act like, just be my friends, okay? So with that, have a wonderful Monday. Love you all. Glad my, my new laptop is working, and I'll talk to you soon. All right? Bye.